Um, am I able to be able to listen? Is it okay? Manageable? I'm getting a lot of background noise from my side. In some apartment, some like you know, work is going on. No, no sir. Okay, sir. Fine. In the last class, we have completed with uh, you know utility procedures. And from today onwards, we will discuss about uh, reporting and the statistical procedures. As part of the reporting procedures, the first reporting procedure that we are going to discuss in today's class is proc print. Proc print. And what this proc print can do, you know, proc print can print all or some of the variables of a data set. Some of the variables of a data set. And it can do, it can print totals and grand totals and totals for numerical variables. This is what it can do the maximum. It can't do much analysis. Maximum, it can print subtotals and grand totals for the numerical variables of a data set. And along with that, it can print all or some of the variables of a data set. And this proc print is one of the oldest reporting tool that we have. Reporting tool. And this reporting procedure is present from when the SAS has been first time has been evolved. From that point onwards, from that time onwards, uh, we have this uh, proc print. Okay, we cannot do much analysis with this one. Since we cannot do much analysis, uh, since we cannot do So we cannot do much analysis with this proc print. We can print just subtotals and grand totals, and we can print variables of a data set. And this is one of the oldest reporting tool that we have. And whenever you want to have a simple, a basic print, simple and a basic print, what we will do, we will go with the proc print. Apart from that, you know, we don't use much of this one in the real time. And please listen carefully. Today and tomorrow, we are going to discuss about the proc print. At the end of the proc print, we are going to have 18 tasks. Everybody in the class should complete all the 18 tasks. And then only we will have the next class. OK? So please listen carefully, read it, practice properly proc print, and then you have to complete all the 18 tasks. OK? OK. To explain the proc print, what I'm going to do, I am going to take the SAS help dot class. I'm getting the SAS help dot class into work library. I'm writing data class set to SAS help dot class. You know what? If I execute the program, we will have a data set called a class in the work library. Okay. Now select the program and execute it. Now go to that library. So now go to the work library. Now here we have a class data set. And you know about this data set, right? We have few five variables and 19 observations in this data set. And this is the data set I'm going to take to explain in today's class about the proc print. Okay. Now, whenever you want to print this data set, whenever you want to print the data set, now we write a processor called proc print. Now, what are the basic processor that we can write? 
basic program that we can write. Now I am writing. This is the simplest that we can write. Proc print semicolon run. If I execute the program, it will print the most recently created data set of a default library, which is a work library. Okay, the default library is work library. Now select the program and execute the program. Now you know. Do we have any data set in the work library right now? We have help class data set, right? Now we'll get the print for the class data set. Do you know how many variables we have in the class data set? Five. Five. Uh, five variables. You will get the print for all the five variables. Uh, can you see along with the five columns, we have one more column here? We have an A. OBS column. And, uh, so proc print by default, it will print an extra column called OBS along with the variables uh, of the data set. Understand? Now see, if I select the program, execute the program, where I'm getting the report, where I'm getting this print, I'm getting the print in the output window. And at the same time, we're also getting that print in the results table window. Why I'm getting in the two locations, you know, two windows. So I open the editor window. Now I'll go to the tools. In the tools, I'll go to options. In the options, now I'll go to preferences. In the preferences, now I'll go to the results window. If I click on the results window, now here, can you see? I have a check mark for create listing. If I have a tick or a check for create listing, now you will get the print in the output window. And if you have it, Check for create HTML. If you put a tick mark for this box also, you will get the information, you'll get the report in the result viewer also. So whatever the information that you are getting in the result viewer, that is the HTML window. And whatever the report that you are getting in the output window, it, it is just a, a listing. So since I have a tick mark for both create listing and create HTML, I'm getting the same report both in output window and in the result viewer window. If you do not want to have a HTML window, now we can untick this one. Now, if I click on OK button, now if I execute the program from now onwards, I will get the report only in the output window. It is just a listing. We are going to have all the observations. That's it. And at the same time, if you do not want to have the report in the output window, but if you want to have in the result of window, what we should do, now go to tools, go to options, go to preferences, in the preferences, go to results and you know untick the create listing and put a tick for create HTML. Now from now onwards, if I execute the program, I will get the result only in that result viewer, but you will not get the information in the output window. But generally, I prefer both the windows. If you want to get the report print in both the windows, go to tools, go to options, go to preferences. In the preferences, click on the create listing and create HTML. Now click on the OK button. Now you will get the report from now onwards. If I execute the proc print, I will get the print in both results window and output window. Clear? So whatever the report you are getting, print you are getting in the output window, this is called a listing. And whatever the print that you are getting in the result view window, this is called HTML window. Understand now? Now. What are the basic print procedure that we can write? Print program that we can write? Simply, you can write a proc print semicolon run. If I write the proc print semicolon run, where you will get this print now? You will get this print in the output window. What you are getting? Now we are getting all the observations and variables of the data set. And along with, we are getting an extra column called OBS. You get an extra column called OBS. In the OBS, what you can find? Now we can find the observation number. Okay, but uh, if you want to get the print for a specific data set, when we have a multiple data sets in a library, if you want to print a specific data set, now we are going to use an option called data is equal to. So what this data is equal to do, this data is equal to specifies a data set name, a data set name for which we want to, for which to get to get the print. Now see, I am writing, say, for example, now proc print 
data is equal to the data set name, which is a class data set. Now, semicolon. Now, write the statement. Now, select the program now. Specifically, what I'm asking, I'm asking a print for class data set. That means in the work library, I'm asking print to give a print for class data set. Now, if I execute the program, yes, I will get the print for only for the class data set. You know, I want to print a class data set. Now, whenever I want to print the class data set, and what I'm writing now, proc print data is equal to class semicolon class or semicolon run. You know, if I select the program and execute, I'm getting the print for class data set. But I told you, along with the five variables of the data set, I'm, an, I'm getting an extra column. What is the extra column I'm getting? Can you see this one? OBS. OBS. <laughs> now, I do not require that OBS. It is an unnecessary extra confusion i want to have only original data i do not want to have this obs column now if you do not want to have that obs column you know what we should what we should do we should use an option called no obs what this no obs option can do no no obs option suppresses the printing of obs column now see proc print data data set name now i am writing no obs select the program and execute the program now can you see now i'll get only the five original variables of class data set. So, no OBS option suppresses printing of OBS column in the output window. And next one, I want to have OBS column. If you want to have OBS column, what you should do, you no need to write anything simply proc print data data set name now select this you know run and execute the program yes you are getting the print but sas that class along with the five variables sir. have it as an obs i want to have some other text instead of obs i want to have some header now if you want to have a some header then what we should do now i'm using an option called OBS is equal to. OBS is equal to. Now you should specify the text. Now whatever the text that you specified, that text will come in the place of OBS. Now see. Student number. Now select the program and execute the program. Now can you see instead of OBS, can you see what I'm getting now? I'm getting a label called student number. I'm getting a text called student number. Clear this one. So if you want to have any text instead of OBS, now we should know OBS is equal to whatever the text that you want to have. Write the text within the quotation. So no, obvi obviously you are going to get that one. So it assigns a name for OBS column. Now I am writing proc print data is equal to class data set. I do not want to have OBS column. I am writing no OBS semicolon run. You know what you will get in the output window? You will get all the five variables and nineteen observations, right? This is how we are going to do. And that is okay. That is okay. But you know how we will get the variable names? We will get all the time variable names in the horizontal manner. In the output window, we get the variable names in horizontal. It will print in the horizontal manner. But I want to print the variable names in the vertical column, vertical manner. If you want to print, you know why it is printing first of all in horizontal manner? Because we, are, we will have and an option called heading is equal to horizontal. Heading is equal to horizontal. But what you can do, we can change. We can change that into vertical. So by specifying the vertical, then now I'll go over here. I'm letting say, so for example, heading is equal to I am writing horizontal. Okay. 
Now, if I select the program and execute the program, generally, you will get the variable names in the horizontal manner because by default, we are going to have heading is equal to horizontal. Now, I am changing that now from horizontal into vertical. Vertical. Now, I am selecting this program, executing this program. Now, can you see how this is going to be? Now, from now onwards, the variable names are going to print in the vertical manner. So what is the advantage of printing in the vertical manner? You know, if you print the variable names in the vertical manner, we can print so much of information in small space. So for example, see, I'm writing, you know, proc print data is equal to SAS help dot cost. Okay, cars data set contains, you know, I do not want to have OBS column extra, but then I'm writing no OBS, selecting this program, executing. Now this is how I'm going to get. You know, it cannot print all the 15 variables closely, so it is going to, you know, you have to drag it up, drag it down like that. Now, but what I'm doing now, now I'm writing, say, for example, heading is equal to. Heading is equal to vertical. Now, if I specify heading is equal to vertical, now select the program. Now, can you see the same data? It is going to print in much smaller space. Can you see here? Previously, it used to print very wide, and now it is printing everything you know, in small space because uh, we have an, a less width required. So it is printing all the 15 variables in a small space. Understand this one? And this is called heading is equal to one. Now, I'm writing proc print. Data is equal to class. I do not want to have OBS column. I'm writing no OBS. Right. Select the program, execute it. You know, in output window, it is okay. You will get as an HTML window, proper table, so you can easily understand. But if you go to that output window, would you be able to listen? Am I audible? Is it okay from my side? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In the output window, we have 19 observations. The 19 observations are very close, you know, one after the other. It is going to be sometimes very confusing. You may start at one point, you may start at a different point. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to have a space. I want to have a space between the observations in the output window. If you want to have a space between the observations in the output window, now we use an option called double. And what this double option can do, double option will insert a blank line between the observations in the output window. Now, see, I am writing an option called double. Double, I'm selecting the program, executing it. Now, can you see in the output window? Previously, we used to get, you know, very close. All the 19 observations used to get very come, come very close. But now, can you see, after writing the double option, now can you see we have a blank line between the observations because of that we have enough space so that we can print all the observations very widely so we can easily read it. So if you want to have a blank line in the output window between the observations, we should use an option called double. I'm writing proc print. Data is equal to class data set. I do not want to have OBS column. I'm writing the no OBS semicolon run. You know, if I execute the program in the output window, this is how I'm going to get the result. Okay. If I write the double option, what happened? If I write the double option, what happened? Remember? Yes. We have one blank line between two observations. Right? But I do not want to have blank line after each observation. I want to have blank line after every five observations. I want to have blank line after every five observations. If you want to have blank line after every five observations, now what I can do, now I'm going to specify an option called blank line is equal to n. So in this scenario, five. If I specify blank line is equal to five, you know what will happen? Now you will get a one blank line. 
you will get a one blank line after every fifth observation in the output window it works only in the output window and this is how we are reporting it of course it works in both in html window also you will get one blank line with every fifth observation clear this now yes sir sir blank line is equal to n works in both the windows html and uh... yes both html window and output window okay. but the double option works only in in output window okay sir now i'm writing proc print data is equal to class data set i do not want to have obs column now i'm writing in a blank line is equal to 3 you know what will happen now you will get a one blank line empty line after every third observation after every third observation and the next option that we have is n it prints the number number of observations of a data set now i am writing proc print data is equal to class data set data is equal to class i do not want to have obs column i am writing no obs now write the rest check do you know how many observations we have in the class data set 19 19 i want to get that observation number now if you want to get that observation number now we are using an option called n what n option will do n option will print number of observations in the output window after the table so now we'll get n is equal to the observation number understand this one yes sir now getting proc print data is equal to class i do not want to have obs no obs run you know if i execute the program i will get all the five variables yes i am getting all the five variable but what i want to do i want to apply label for sex variable and i want to have it as a student gender tell me if you want to have a student gender instead of sex what we should do label statement where we should write the label statement data after data set do you want to merit in the data step no no from before run only no you know that if you want to give a descriptor name or a label we should write the label statement of course you can write the label statement both in data step and a proc step okay now i am going back to the data step here here we have a data class set as helper class now while i am doing this one i am writing a label statement here label for which variable i want to apply the label sex sex variable sex is equal to now within the single or double quotations whatever the label you want to you can write it i want to have it as an a student gender i am writing the student gender semicolon now i applied a label called student gender for sex variable now for which in which data set that we have in class data set class. now i am going back to here i am selecting the program and executing the program can you see is the label apply for the sex variable no no sir no sir do we have a label for sex variable no for class data set if you want i can show you you know if i go to that work library yes we have a class data set now can you see what we have for the sex variable student gender student gender we have the we have the label but still when i am writing the proc print for the class data set i am not getting that label remember one thing by default proc print will print only the variable names even though you have a label it will not print it will print only variable names column names 
But if you want to print the label, when you have a label, you know what you should do? You have to give an option called label. So now I'm going to the proc print of writing no OBS. I am writing, you know, label option. I'm writing label option. After writing the label, again, I'm executing the proc print. Now see if I open, if I print that one, now can you see? Now it is printing label for the sex bin. So that means by default, proc print cannot print a variable label. It can print only variable names. But if you want to print the label, what we should write? We should write the label option. Now, by the way, I want to print the labels for all the five variables of the data set. I want to print the labels for all the five variables. What I should do now? Do we have a label for all the five variables? No, sir. No, what we should do now? We should apply the label. How to apply the label? How to give the label for a variable? How to apply the label? In the data set, sir. Then it will... You can, you can write label. No. The label statement both in data step and proc step also. So this time I want to label. write the label in the proc step. Now I am writing proc print data is equal to data set name. I do not want to have OBS column, no OBS. Now I am writing the label statement. Label the first variable is a name is equal to now within the quotation. So I want to have a label called student name. Okay, first variable over. And the second variable sex is equal to yes, I want to have it as a gender. Third variable age, age is equal to I am writing, you know, student student age. And fourth variable is height variable. Now height is equal to I am writing, you know, student height. Now weight variable, age is equal to weight. And finally, keep a semicolon. So that means we can write the label statement in the data step and you can also write the proc step. I'm writing a label statement. Can you say, am I getting the label here? No, sir. Okay. I can write label option. You have to write the label option. So that means even though you are writing a label statement in the proc step, still you have to give the label option. So that means by default, proc print cannot print the labels. If you want to print the label, you have to give the label option. Now, can you see? Since I specified the label option also, now I'm getting the label for all the variables. And by the way, for gender also, I want to have a student gender. So what should I write now? I'm writing, say, for example, student gender. Now, can you tell me what is the difference between writing a label statement in the proc print here or writing a label statement in the data step? Do you have any idea that uh, what is the difference between these two? Writing a label statement in the data step or a label statement in the proc step? You know, if you write a label statement in the data step, the label will be get associated with uh, data set. But if you read the label in the proc print, this label will be get applied only for this report. Understand? If you give a label, if you write a label statement in this proc print, this is only for this print. But if you read a label in the data step, what will happen? That will be get associated with the data set attributes in the PDB. Understand? Understand the difference between writing a right label statement in the data step and in the proc step. If I write a label like this one, this is only for this print. But if you write a label in the data step, that is going to be permanently associated with the data set. So whenever you want to, you can use that one. 
Understand this one? Yes, sir. Now, I am writing this program. I am executing the program again. Now, can you see in the result viewer window, student name is printing in one line, student gender, student age in two lines, student height and student weight in one line. But I want to print uniformly in each and every label. I want to print a student in one line, you know, name, gender, age, height, and weight in a second line. So that means I want to split the label at a specific point. Now, if you want to print a label at a specific point, but if you want to split your label, now along with the label option, now we are going to the next option, which is called split is equal to. Split is equal to, now within the quotation, so now we can specify any special character. You can write any special character. Now here, I'm writing a forward slash. And what this forward slash, now what we can do with, now wherever you want to split our label into the next line, now you can specify the same special character now in that label. Now, this special character, forward slash, will split the label into the next line. So student will come into one line and name will go to the second line. So again, student is forward slash gender. Student will come to first line, gender to the next line. And again, I'm keeping over here, here, and here. Now see, if I select the program and execute it, now can you say, now wherever I have specified the forward slash from that point onwards, the label is printing in the next line. Understand this one? Now tell me what will happen if I specify here, say for example, you know, after G and D, between the G and DR, I'm giving the forward slash. And here, between the STU, D and I'm giving the forward slash. Now tell me, this label is going to print in how many lines? Three lines. Three lines. Three STU lines. into one line, D and T into one line, and height into one line. Okay? Now see, selecting the program and executing, and this is how it is going to print. So now we can control then how to print the label. Clear this one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this is called a label and split option. The next option that we have is uniform. You know what is uniform? It formats all pages uniformly. It formats all the pages uniformly. Now, say for example, letting say for example, proc print. Yeah. Sas help dot maybe cars run. When I execute the program, it is going to print, you know, unequally, but I want to print all the pages in the uniform manner. If you want to pay, print all the pages in the uniform manner, now what we are going to do, we are going to use an option called uniform. When I specify the uniform, what it will do, it will format all the pages uniformly and uh, we are going to get an uh, you know, equal size in output window. So to print all the pages uniformly, we use an option called uniform. And the next option that we have is, uh, you know, width is equal to. Width is equal to, now we can specify uniform we can specify full or you can specify minimum. Now I am letting proc print. Data is equal to class data set semicolon. I do not want to have OBS column, no OBS semicolon run. You know, if I execute the program in the output window, this is how we are going to get the report. But I want to have enough space within the variables. And, it, and what is this width? It determines the column width for each variable. Okay? So that means how much width you want to have. 
this 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 you know space and this space and this space and this space how much you want to have now to control that one now what i am going to do i am going to specify width is equal to now i am getting the full you can add full if you specify width is equal to full now execute the program or can you see previously in the output window we used to get the report like this one can you see variables are very close we do not have much space but when i specify width is equal to uniform so width is equal to full can you see there is a lot of space within a variable so now the table is printing you know very spaciously so whatever the variables formatted with that we have now it is going to get adjusted to column width and we are going to have in a proper width by default we are going to have width is equal to minimum so that's why it will take only minimum width and uh, you know how much width is required it is going to take only that much width that's why in the output window we are getting the result you know very narrowly so we are getting very close to all the variable values what other thing that you can also write instead of a full or minimum now what you can do we can also write uniform if i specify width is equal to uniform now it is going to take all the variables of uniformly and uh, you know in the output window this is how it is going to get printed so depends upon a requirement by default we are going to have a minimum you can write a uniform and you can also specify full full now explain the next option what i want to do i am creating a data set called class 1 i am letting set sas dot class you know while i am doing this one i am doing a small arithmetic operation and i want to create a body mass index i am writing a body mass index is equal to i am writing say for example weight divided by height whole square you know height whole square into 704 this is the formula i am using to calculate the body mass index now select the program and execute it this is how we are going to get the body mass index now i want to print the data set i am writing proc print data is equal to what the data set that we have now class 1 i do not want to have obs column no obs right now select the program and execute it i am getting the print like this one but that is okay can you see how many decimals i am getting the for bmi four 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 decimal i want to round that to two decimals now if you want to round that one to two decimals see what i am going to do now i am using an option called round generally if you want to control the decimal value so what the statement you should write we should write a format statement right but if you write a format statement you should write you know for if you want to control all the variables you should write in the format statement all the variables but what this round option can do round option rounds all the numerical variables to two decimals if you have more than two decimals it will round that into two decimals see in the data actually we have for bmi four decimals but can you see when i use the round option how many decimals i am getting i am getting only two decimals so to round the numerical decimal values to two, two we use an option called round this is an option not in a function remember this is how we are going to get round and these are the some of the options that we have in the proc print okay so tell me one more time what are the options that we have first of all what are the basic procedure that we can write proc print semicolon but if you want to print a specific data set what are the options you can write data is equal data is equal to data is equal to the data set name data set name what are the next option that we have seen if you do not want to have obs column no no obs Yes. Want to have OBS column, but instead of that, if we only have a string, O O O S is equal to with the quotation. So whatever the string you want to have, we can write the string. And then what we have seen, 
getting change by default what we are going to do vertical horizontal 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 we can also change that into vertical vertical and then if you want to have a space between the observations in the output window use the double okay. option but if you want to have blank line that after the specific number of observations blank line is equal to blank line equal to Fine. Then what are the other options that we have seen? In. If you want to print the number of observations, <laughs> use an option. Label and, and label uh, even though you have a label by default, proc print cannot print the label. If you want to print the label, you should give the label option. Label. And if you want to split the label at a specific point. Split is equal to now within the quotation special character. Width is equal. We can use an option called uniform, and again we can also use width is equal to. We can write full, or we can write a minimum, minimum, and we can write uniform. 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 And if you want to round all the numerical variables to two decimals, we should use an option called round. 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 Understand this one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So these are the options that we have in the prompt. Sir, so if we write format option for the BMI variable, does it work in prompt, sir? Yes, format. Okay. Yes. What is that? Prompt table. It is only a data structure. Okay, sir. And then. Now, since we have done with the options in the proc print statement, now we'll this. Now we have the next one is uh, statements, and uh, you know we have following statements. We have an a var statement, and uh, we have by statement, and we have page by statement, and we have sum by statement, and we have sum statement. And of course, we can write the where statement. We can write a format statement. And yes, we have seen we can also write the label statement. Okay, we'll discuss about these statements in tomorrow's class. Okay. 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 Oh, sir, uh, one small doubt, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, while creating uh, data sets from in, in stream data and text file data, uh, we can use both in formats and formats, no, sir. Can we use? Come again. I didn't get you. Uh, like, uh, madam, uh, data uh, while creating data sets from uh, in stream data or uh, text file data, can we yeah, use yeah. in? Uh, can we use in format and formats? Uh, formats for usage in stream data. Yeah, in format is first of all, if we have a non-standard data, you should use in format. So okay. then the data will come into inside. Then what we should do? Again, you should apply the format if you want to display in a specific way. Okay, sir. So, uh, existing data set in the data set created is the broader usage, sir. Uh, no, existing sets already means you know no, you cannot use informed in that sense because already existing means already data is present in the PDB, right? Uh, in this scenario, you do not require informed. All you need to have only format. Okay, sir. Thank you. See you. Thank you, sir. Send that note, sir. Thank you.